talking again. Okay. Oh, it's it's like a a a, a ex ex girlfriend and 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 coming back and blah 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 and just like wait y'all y'all together? No, nah, we're not together. <laughs> you know. What I'm saying? No, we're not together. Okay. It's because of the kids. It's because of the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because of the kids. <laughs> but y'all banging, right? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, and. Another fight that a lot of people are not talking about that, you know, it's starting to warm up. I think it's a great fight. It's June 10th with Tiafima Lopez and Josh Taylor. I mean, good fight. What do you think about that fight? We got a guy, both guys that were former undisputed. Josh Taylor's still undefeated. You know, Tiafimo has had uh, two fights in between, you know, a hard fight with Campas and then a hard fight with Martin. And then you have Josh Taylor that had a hard fight with Catterall. So now these guys are going to meet up in the Hulu Theater in New York City. What do you think about that fight? I think I think that's a that's a great. Uh, can, uh, can I can I cut off a minute? My my kids are saying goodnight to me. Of course. Everybody's... Come here. 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 Good night. Good night. My bad. No man. Yeah, I, I just that's I, beautiful. You know, I want to say goodnight. That's beautiful. Yeah, man, it's important to me, man. So you know, that's it's important to me to tell them that. But uh, yeah, thank you for that. For no, the patience. absolutely. Right? Anytime, brother. You never need to thank me when it comes to family, bro. For real. <laughs> thank you, brother. Um, nah. So with that fight, I think it's a great fight. You know, um, I, I, you know, both of them really need to put their names out there again to get back into the the limelight. Um. You know, with with Tio, if he fights the way he's always been fighting, which is just to throw that bomb and all that stuff, he's gonna get exposed again with 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 the counter of of you know um, uh, Josh Taylor's counters. I mean, again, you never know if Josh Taylor shows up like he did with Ramirez because he hasn't been in the ring for a while. You know what I mean? So that if that and recovering from an injury, stuff, right? Or in recovery from yeah, exactly. So. You know, again, there's a lot of question between the two, you know, whether they're going to uh, be um, at their best at their best. Right. And again, you know, with Tio, the way he's thinking, you know, um, of 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 uh, how, you know, speaking that he has he has gone to the top already mentally, you know, that he has nothing else to learn. I mean, I think that's a different approach in 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 growing you're not going to grow when you think you've learned everything already you know um and if he goes out there the same thing that he did with with uh with with Combosis and and Sandor Martin you know that's a big mistake to be countered really easily especially a guy who's tricky and southpaw like um like Josh Taylor right right um you know this fight is happening at 140 pounds. This could put Tiafimo on a different level, a different playing field of being former undisputed at 35 and conquering another division at the age of 25 years old. Is this possibly too fast, too soon for him, you think? I think they need to just kind of revamp themselves and not rush things. You know, I, I think that with Tiafimo, it's just the mindset of, of growth, the growth mindset to keep learning again. And, and learn from his mistake, not show up the way he showed up in the last few fights. You know, um, I think that he needs to let go of his victory with with um, with Lomachenko, you know, so that he can move on to become the true self that he that that he can be his true potential. He's too caught up being, oh, I beat Lomachenko. OK, you beat Lomachenko. That was back then. Now do something that you need to do today, you know, and create yourself more. Don't worry about what happened last time. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. You know, I think he needs to move on with that mindset of, of you know what, I'm going to do something different this time. <clears throat> so when we talk about 50-50 fights, you think, you know, uh, Haney and Loma, Tio and Josh Taylor, 50-50s? I would say uh, Haney would be a, a – 40, 60, if that, you know, um, because just Haney's on a roll and and we don't really know whether Lomachenko is going to start off fast or if he's going to start off just kind of checking him out and all of that stuff, um, you know, something like that. And then um, the T.O. The thing, I would go with 50-50 because I don't know whether they're going to both show up. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is is the guy that always fought in Teofimo going to show up like that? Because that's easily to counter. Well, the guy who's beaten everybody, um, Regis and and uh, and Ramirez, going to show up? Or is the injury going to fuck with his mind? You know, so all of that stuff is something that um, that to be put account uh, to put into account. And I got to put it in 50 50 on this one. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So um, <laughs> now with the with the Josh Taylor and Teal fight, like how how is the bag run on this one? I mean, it, it looks like it could happen in a numerous ways. Thank God for DraftKings. Um, uh, how do you, where do you think the bag lies? You know, in this one. I mean, I know we said that. You know, we don't know who's going to show up. Uh, how can we determine that? I mean, weigh-ins. First round, I think, I think the way ins, the way ins. Um, but yeah, the early rounds would be the the, the key factor of it. The only time I would think uh, um, uh, uh, Tio is gonna land a hook or overhand is somehow you know Josh don't see it, you know, um, and those he got power in both hands, and then uh, of course Josh Taylor is gonna counter like he did with Ramirez when he counter and dropped him. You know he can do the same thing to Tio if if uh, if they're not if they're just looking for that big shot, you know. So um, we definitely will see in the first round for me. I would know exactly if if uh, Josh Taylor is 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 on point, mm. you know. And I can tell as well with Tio if he's on point if he's if he's doing the same thing over and over, which is to go out there and tee off and 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 just you know try to try to um, head hunt and all that stuff. I feel like boxing is such in a good stage right now. It must motivate yeah. to get you back in the ring, right? It's just like we're all these different divisions staying staying busy. Um, like I said, I can't wait to get you back in the ring as well. I'm over here talking like if I'm your coach. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, other than that, man, I mean, we talk about the 35 division and it's five pounds away from the 40. We always said that, you know, the 140 division was probably the most scariest division in boxing for almost everybody's career because, you know, you had guys moving up at their prime, moving up, and, and you had to pass that division, you know. Um, yeah. But then you got guys like, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia that, you know, is saying he wants to campaign at 140. Um, you got uh, Devin Haney that after this fight, we don't know if he moves up to 140. We got Regis Prograis with a belt. We got Subriel Matias with a belt. We got Josh Taylor with a belt. We got the one of the bigger entertainers in boxing, Teofimo Lopez is at 140 now. I mean, um, we got Roley at 140. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it just seems like in that division, it's hard to really pick them. Um, but let's play uh, Nonito Matchmaker right now. <laughs> Nonito matchmaker right now to make boxing stay hot. All right. <laughs> I would say Tio versus Ryan Garcia. I think they're 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 evenly kind of like, oh, I think they both can knock each other out, but they both got um, you know, people behind them to 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 make it into a bigger fight. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a good fight, um, because I think that they can be evenly matched when it comes down to uh to how they're gonna show up, you know what I'm saying? So, but they got people behind to watch that fight. I think that that's a that's a very entertaining fight. I haven't heard that one yet. How about Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney? They were actually three and three in the amateurs. That's a good fight too. That's a good fight. You know, I I, I for me, I'm I want to see a knockout. You know, I think the Tio and and Ryan Garcia, they're gonna go for the head. You know, they're gonna go for the for that knockout you know when you get the the haney and and garcia i think it's a good fight but it's a it's a chess match fight you mm -hmm. know what i mean so that's why you really I mean, want to see a ryan and teo then i i do want to see a ryan and teo <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and i do want to see i do want to see uh progress with with everybody else with the bit with the heavy shots you know um, you know, I think I think he's the best out there right now and in, in that division. You know, the way he showed up with with um with uh what's his name? Um I forget his name. Yeah. Uh Zepeda. With Zepeda, yeah, with Zepeda. Yeah. So the way that yeah, with John Zepeda, uh, you know, with uh 
the way he showed up and, and the way he threw the jab and the way he was very masterful in, in, in just the head movement, the jab, and just everything that he did, I thought I thought he was he learned a lot from his mistakes or his, his loss. With all these names, man, uh, do you believe that Regis could stay on top? You know, uh, you were kind of missing on that dude. I don't know if you know him, but he's he's holding the IBF. Subriel Matias from Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, the heavy-handed dude, man. He is heavy-handed. And he puts it together nice. Bricks. Yeah, he got bricks in his hand. But the thing is, you know, um, Chon, Chon uh, Zepeda was a hard-hitting dude, too. You know, Zepeda was a hard hitter. But the size, um, but, he's a small guy for 140. Yeah. Yeah, but the jab, progress, progress jab, Regis' jab, and, and, and getting off the defense right off, you know, I think that he can box well with with um with uh with with the Puerto Rican dude, <laughs> you know. Um yeah, and and I think that that's a that's a hell of a fight. They need to put it together. That's, that's the one. Yeah, that's that, the one. You that gotta actually, be on your calendar, right? That's on your calendar. That, yeah, exactly. You know that you, you want to see the best fight, man, especially power versus power. Mm, mm. Or both fighters with power, you know. Or you know, and then say you you got to fill up the roster, Nonito. So it's like you, Roly and Ryan. That too, but you know, I Roly's a, he, he's a tough guy. He got power, and 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 I think I think his style might be very difficult for Ryan. You know, we saw it in his sparring where he hurt Ryan. You know, um, so that's gonna be a very different uh, because with with uh with with Ryan. If that fight goes, you know, he he has to learn how to be very patient with his punches because he's going to do the same thing over and over. And Roley's is going to do what Roley does. You know, he's going to go and try to roll on these dudes, <laughs> you know. Awkward as hell. You know? Yeah, but I mean, it's a hell of a, a hell of a division, that's for sure. Yeah, man.